I thought this product was, like, gonna be good. I, it was, like, I don't know. I, I don't know, guys. Like, I really should have known better, but I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Okay. This is the Bath & Body Works Plumbing Lip Gloss. This does not plump my lips. I'll put some on. This does not, like, it tingles them, but I don't notice a difference. And I should have known better because who buys plumbing lip gloss at Bath & Body Works? Like... you know, like, I'm trying to, it's not, so we'll see in a second here, I do like the applicator, the applicator is like a, like it's a jelly, like kind of thing, if you can see, but who buys that there, like, it does give a nice little gloss, I don't little thing, but it's not very, like when I see plumbing gloss, I expect Lump. Like, I want to see my lips burn and burn and burn. And <laughs> so, yeah, this just doesn't do the job for what I want to do. But I shouldn't have expected much from Bath and Body Works. I just thought, like, oh my, this is an amazing product for Bath and Body Works. Like, could you imagine? I could put people on. No, I don't. And little disclaimer here what product doesn't work for me could work for you. It very well could. Like, that Jeffree Star palette thing, it worked for many other like people many other people probably loved it but like what one works for one may not work for another this is nothing to do against these brands i love all these brands i use products from all these brands these products just didn't work for me little disclaimer next up i think this is a personal preference i really think this is a personal preference but i regret buying this I actually had, I actually got another one of these and I returned it. That's how much I don't like it. It's the Duo br Brush on Adhesive with Vitamins. This is it. I do not like it. I don't know if you can see. I do not like it. I don't know if I have the one I like in my drawer here. If you want to know the brand I like, maybe I'll put it on the screen. The one I do like that I use every day. So I wanted one that was a brush on like this like I wanted one with this applicator to brush it onto my lash but I don't like this adhesive I don't think this adhesive works I don't think it does the job I don't I just think there's way better ones out there way 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 better ones out there for the price like like the price isn't expensive but there's way way better ones out there like I, this one does nothing to me if I'm putting on a really really thick 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 lash I'll put this adhesive on my eyelid and then I'll put my regular adhesive on the lash and then try to do it like that but in all honesty this didn't work for me and it was not my biggest I wasn't a big fan next up we are going to go on to um, way, 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 um, leave-in conditioner. So I, during quarantine, I was trying to find a perfect leave-in conditioner. I used a lot of this product to give it a fair shot. This was fairly expensive. I love the smell. The smell just reminds me of something clean. Like, it makes me feel clean. The smell just, uh, makes me feel clean. But this, you know, that TikTok sound that goes, you are good, but I'm waiting for you to be great or better by like happy or whatever she goes you are good but i'm waiting for you to be better oh, this is like leaving little sparks on my lips but this just wasn't it like i was expecting i was expecting a lot more from this product like a lot a lot more from this product um i use the um i, I use all now and I see a huge difference with Olaplex but I was waiting for this to be something I don't know why I was expecting this to be really really good and really great but I didn't see any difference with that and that's all that's why I regret it just because of the price tag like I was waiting for it to be great when it wasn't I have multiple leave-in conditioners like that where I was waiting for them to be amazing and good when really they they were nothing there was nothing there with them like i could do a full like i could seriously do a full thing of leaving conditioners that i tried that didn't work that didn't fix any of my problems so 
that is all guys for this video like i said i love all these brands i use all these brands still to this day these are just products that didn't work for me um and that's all i do love these brands and that is that is really it so i, I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in like six months from now if you would like an updated version these are unfortunately all the products i don't like um i really love all my products i really do these are just ones that really didn't work for me so yeah i'll see you in my next video bye